What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So on the video before this, you guys saw that I pulled my drive shaft and saw that it was indeed my drive shaft center support bearing that was broken. So after that, I just left the video right there because I still need to order the part. So after that, the next day, I called AutoZone to see if they had it, and they did. But before that, I called O'Reilly's to see if they had it for cheaper, but it turned out AutoZone had it for cheaper. So I went and picked it up that morning, and after that, I headed off to my shop. But I had my brother take me because I didn't have my car. I gave it to my mom because her alternator went bad on here. So I was like, here, mom, take my car, and I'll just head to my shop tonight and get the E36 back up and running and drive it home. So that was the intentions. Keep in mind, my shop is 30 minutes away from where I live, so it's not like anyone can just come and pick me up. So after my brother dropped me off, I uh, put the drive shaft, the new drive shaft center support bearing on the drive shaft, hooked everything up, and as I was going to put it in the car, I, I got under the car and so, hold on. These two bolt, bolt studs right here, that's where it hangs. So I went and put it on. I put this first side on. And then as I was going over to this side, it stopped right here. So it was too short. And I was like, oh my gosh. This cannot be happening right now. So I was like, ugh. Only reason why it took me so long to figure that out is because I had to get this old guy off of my drive shaft, but I didn't have a pry bar or a crowbar to get it off, so I decided to mess around like with a flathead and a hammer, and it just wouldn't come off. So I was trying out that for at least a good 30 minutes, and I was like, you know what, I'm tired of this, I'm just gonna go next door and see if someone has it for one. And my neighbor, they did, they said they had it at their farm, and they will go get it, uh, so I waited 20 minutes for that. They finally came back and gave it to me, and after that, it literally took me less than five minutes to get it off. So I was like, awesome. And then I went to put the new one on and that's where I ended up. After that, uh, I called around to see who else had it, but unfortunately everyone else had the same one as the one I just returned. And the, the one I needed, like the closest store, was all the way in Utah, so I'm like, no point, no point in um, trying to wait. So I decided to just bite the bullet and just order it online from Rock Auto uh, and have it shipped here in a few days. So here is the new drive shaft center support bearing. It looks amazing. Uh, hopefully it doesn't break. I doubt it will. I heard it's good quality and I saw that it had great reviews. So now I just need to throw it on here and button, button the drive shaft back up and throw it back on the car. So I'm just gonna hop to it right now. Okay, so now, gotta take this guy and make sure when you're putting it on, it's facing this way, because this is uh, facing forward towards um, the front of the car. And when you put it on, you'll put it on like that. So, uh, you need a, you need a, like a tool or something to hammer it down on the pin, but I don't have one, so I found a little hack. You take the top part of your dive shaft, and some people might think I'm stupid for doing this, but that's the best way I can think of right now, so take that, slide it around down. See that there is there's a gap right here, and that's where the um, drive shaft support bearing is supposed to be sitting. So, take it like this, make sure it's flush on there. Off. 
she is fully seated on there. Now you have to put the washer that was on here before. Make sure to put that on. But before you do that, there is a, oh, I think it's called a seat clamp, seat clamp or something. It's this and it goes on here and it sits in a little well. I make sure that this doesn't come off. So before I get back to that, I need to um, smash this back down a little bit more because it's not fully on here yet. So I have to take off the clamp again because um, it wasn't far back enough, and now it is. So I'm just gonna slide this little guy back on. Yes, I am working on a trash can. My workbench is at my house, not here yet. Take a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers, and you push it on. You hold it and whew, push the rest of it on. way so cool it's back on now I just need to throw this little guy oh back on just like that slide him in oh slide that back okay now I'm just gonna set you guys that's on I am going to so we'll get back on there, and there we go. Now I can go and install it on the car now. Oh, I got off the entire drive shafts all bolted back up. This is all secure now. Got the bolts back here, all in. Everything has been double checked and tightened. I got the bracket in right here. So now I just need to get the heat shield back in here and then throw the exhaust on and we can start the car back up. So I'm just gonna cut to a time lapse of me putting all that stuff on right now.
turn the car on and cycle through the gears, give it some gas, just to see how the, bra the bracket feels and make sure there's like no moving around or any knocking. I would take it out tonight, but it is dumping rain right now. So I'll, uh, I'm not gonna end the video tonight, but on it tomorrow after I take it out and drive it around. So I'm just gonna get to drive, well not driving, but starting the car. So long since I've started this. nothing. Pretty quiet for a cold start. Okay. First gear. That is it for tonight. Glad I showed you guys everything. Hope um, you guys like that. All right, guys. So unfortunately, um, as I'm editing this video, I realized I lost all that footage for the next day of like getting the car off the jack stands and things like that. So um, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video. I'm sorry for all the lost footage I lost, but uh, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, I hope you guys liked today's video, though. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.